I started an eBay business a few months ago because I saw Gary V's trash talk episodes and he made money by going to yard sales and reselling things on eBay. It looked easy, so I decided to give it a shot. At first, I got a few sales, but hardly made any profit, but I kept trying. But the more I tried, the more money I lost. I decided to try a new direction. Instead of trying to sell everything, I'm gonna pick one niche, and that is clothing. I started doing research, I bought new inventory, and guess what? I started getting sales. It seemed to be working. My eBay business finally started making me money. And this is how I did it. I, I don't know, I just have a feeling that this time, I'm actually gonna make some money off eBay. I got an offer for the Hoka shoes, Hoka, Oka, I don't know how to pronounce it. The only item that was on my little cheat sheet I made for research, it's getting a lot of views. That kind of tells me, hey, the people on YouTube kind of know what they're talking about. So I'm gonna keep doing more research, but I posted for $27.99 plus $9.99 shipping. Somebody offered me $17.99 plus $9.99 shipping. So you know what? Let's weigh them and let's see how much shipping is gonna be. This is YouTuber, Rally Roots. He puts everything in the package already before he lists them. And I feel like I'm gonna start doing that as well because that's that's a very good idea. I'm gonna put them like this, just as an example. And then I'm gonna put them in here. So they're one pound. So I put the dimensions on USPS to so have an idea of how much it's gonna cost. It's saying 1040, that's a pretty good price. Now let's calculate how much profit I'm gonna make with this if I sell it at that offer. 17.99 plus 9.99 is 27.98, minus 10% for the eBay fees, 2.80, minus 3% plus 30 cents for the PayPal fee, 114, minus $10.40 for shipping, minus the shoe cost, I'm gonna make $7.65 profit, at least, hopefully. But you know what, I'm gonna counter offers. Make it $19.99, hopefully I can make at least $10 profit. Let's see if he takes it. Guess what, he took the offer, $19.99, $9.99 shipping. Let's package it, let's ship it, and let's see how much money I made, how much profit I made. I put the dimensions, let's see how much it's gonna be. Hopefully less than $10.40. $8.50. So after all the shipping, the eBay fees, PayPal fees, and the cost on my shoes, made $11.29 profit, man. Finally. We're making moves over here. And guess what? I just went to the thrift store. I bought a lot of shirts and shoes. Here's a list of everything I bought. Nothing was over $5. Appreciate that thrift store. This one's new with tags. For 50. Let me see. Dickies. I know Dickies sell. $3.95. Ooh, Sobrino right here. This one, I looked it up. Selling for a good amount for 50. Here we go, Puma. Let's see if this one sells, 450. And shoes, right here, this one's right here. These are uh, Johnston and Murphy, 595. And some crew cuts, cost 350. And to help me take pictures, buy a lot of uh, poster boards. <sighs> the fun part is buying it. The funny part is selling it. The worst part, taking pictures and listing it. But it's part of the job, let's go do it. No way. A shirt I just posted today. Someone made me an offer. I, I had it for $9.99 plus $7.99 for shipping. They offered me $6.99. I counter with $7.99, you know, meet me in the middle. He countered with $7. But you know what? I'm just excited. I gotta sell. 
Let's see how much profit this item made me. After eBay C, PayPal C, shipping, and the cost of my item, I made $4.18 profit. You don't even know how good it feels to make profit. I pretty much doubled my money with this shirt. I just hope I keep getting good luck. I can't, I can't believe these. These shoes just sold and I posted them yesterday. Cost me $3.50. Put the measurements, the weigh, one pound and 10 ounces. Put the dimensions, 761. So this is how much I made. $13.20 profit, man. I'm finally making some money off this. If you saw my last video, I talked about how I was just losing money. Here's the thing. That's why I don't care how many times I strike out. I fail. This is why I'm always able to grow businesses. Because in my last video about my eBay, I told you how much money I was just losing. I felt like eBay was getting nowhere. I was just putting money in there and nothing was coming out. So I took that as feedback. In my opinion, that's why I never fail. Because I always see things as feedback. I take a step back, see what's going on, and I try figuring out how I could get better. So I'm gonna go ship this and you know what we're gonna do next? Go buy more inventory, cause this is working. It's Saturday, let's go see if we can find some yard sales. And if not, I'm gonna hit a couple thrift shops. Let's see how it goes today. All right, so no yard sales, and you know what? It's because uh, they said it was gonna rain today, so I'm sure a lot of people didn't plan a yard sale because it was gonna be raining, but it's so sunny, beautiful day. I'm gonna go through this thrift shop. This is where I find the shoes. This is where I find the crew cut shoes. The shirt that sold pretty much on the first day. Let's see if I could get lucky again. Man, I spent a lot on this thrift store. $59, $19 in the one before that one. And I know what you're thinking. But Reyes, what about the gas? It's at $5, all right? But I feel really good about this. Let's go inside and show you what I got. Here we go. This stack, six shirts, cost me $19.36. This stack cost me $59.13. When I'm going through the aisles of clothing, I'm starting to see what brands sell more than others. It's gonna be the big test. I just went hard with the Harley Davidson's over here. Harley Davidson hit 50, cause I know Harley Davidson has a big following. So what do you guys think? You think I'm gonna get some sales with these? And honestly, I don't wanna spend any more money. Let's see how much profit I make of these products. See if I'm getting better or if I'm getting worse. Here comes the fun part, it's not fun. Taking pictures and listing everything. I, mean, I hate doing that, but it's part of the job. Oh, so I just finished everything. It took me like, I don't know, two hours, but I was taking my time. Someone just messaged me. One of my items, a shirt, a H&M shirt, asking me, what are the measurements from armpit to armpit? I'm gonna send it to him. And do we got our first sell already? Hopefully, let's send him the measurements. Posted everything yesterday. I already got a sell. You know that Harley Davidson shirt? Right here, Harley Davidson, man. Yo, think about a lot of those. I posted for $15.99 plus $5.99 shipping. Someone made me an offer of $11. I took it. I'm getting the hang of this. Let's see how much I make at the end of the week. Look at all my inventory right here. Let's see. So after some sales, I got $53.20 back. $16.94 was what I invested into the items and profit $36.33. You know what you gotta do when you start making money off your business? You need to reinvest it. So I'm gonna go back, use those $53 I made, buy more inventory, and look, this time I'ma stick to my list I did more research, I added more brands. If I come across, buy them. Ah, 
so you guys want to see what I got from the thrift store. I spent $53.37 right on my budget, homie. It was meant to be. This thrift shop gives you $5 off if you spent $50. So, I gotta love it. Look what I got. Just letting you know, I mainly got items that were on my list. So let's see if I could sell these. And then these, I kind of took a gamble on. I did some quick research. I feel like they were gonna sell. Hopefully they do. You already know, time to do my funnest part. Taking pictures, taking measurements, and listing them. So, a couple days ago, eBay gave me an option to send an offer to one of my watchers. So, I started doing more research and it turned out they're trying this out slowly. Then, I did more research and there's a link you could use that will let you send offers to all your products. Let's see if I get a sale. So, woke up this morning, got a sale. I put this man's war long sleeve, tried selling it for $24.99, $5.99 shipping. Someone gave me a best offer of $18. I'll take it. Somebody offered me $10 for this J. Crew shirt. You know, I countered with $12.99. He declined the offer. It's all right. It's all right. If I would have sold it for $10, it wouldn't have made a lot of money. Right now, I have 42 things listed. Let's see how it goes. I don't know if you could tell, but my plan is to price things pretty high because I know people are going to do best offer and then meet them in the middle. Let's see how that goes. But let me show you how much profit I made off this war shirt. So shipping is only going to cost me $3.82 because they're also from California. Those for $23.99. Ooh, ten dollars and twenty-five cents profit. I don't know about you. I'm making some good profit over here. Yeah, and you know what? Since I got sixteen dollars back, let's go reinvest it. I'm just gonna keep reinvesting it, use the profits to get more items because my big goal is to have a hundred items listed. Somebody told me that once you have a hundred items listed you're gonna be making sales every day that's the goal so all the profit i'm making i'm reinvesting back into the business but yesterday i went to goodwill and i picked up and i couldn't res i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't resist let me go package this and ship it This is what I got from the Goodwill last night. Goodwill yesterday. Each shirt cost me $4.49. The blue dot, it was a toy my daughter wanted. So look what I got. Tommy Bahamas, another one. This one was originally $6.99, gave it to me for $4.50. Not bad, thank you. Levi, Bun Up, and Obey Worldwide. I took a chance on this. Let's take pictures, let's take measurements, and let's list them on eBay. So just took pictures. Enlisted my clothes. I'm a folder right now, and I just got an offer. I know you guys remember somebody offered me ten dollars for an H and M shirt. I wanted twelve ninety nine. They said no. <laughs> this guy for a dicky shirt offered me five dollars. So I did the math. Ten ninety nine minus four fifty for the cost of shirt. He sends for PayPal. I make seventy six cents profit. Now I posted this shirt a couple days ago, and here's my situation. If I say no, I don't know. I mean, it has three watchers. So that means people are interested in this shirt. But I don't know if they're willing to pay $7.99 for it. Take the offer. I at least make my money back. That could reinvest on better inventory. I say no. I'm going to be sitting on this shirt for a cool minute until it sells for the price. My counter offer is $6. So I could at least make about $2 profit. Hopefully they take it. So I sent them the offer, $6. They declined it. No! It's part of the game. I've been getting sales. I've been making profit on the sales. Look, this is how every business starts out. At first, I was losing money trying to figure out exactly what works for me. I figured something out. I started getting consistent sales. And I started making profit. Now is the time to just go for it and invest. I have. $200 cash right now. I'm gonna try hitting six thrift stores today. And of course, I got my list. And I'm only gonna find things that are on my list 
because that's been working for me. Hopefully this works out and I didn't lose $200. And I already know what you're thinking. We're gonna wait on that, all right? We're gonna wait on that. Let's go to the first thrift store. Just letting you know, I'm spending $200 because I got $200. You might not. And I highly recommend, instead of investing $200, if you don't have it, invest a little bit at a time. For example, if you have an extra $10, go get two shirts. Instead of going out and eating, use that money and invest it on your eBay. Start small, but invest as much as you can. Well, that's what I'm doing. That's what I've always done in my businesses. Let's see if it works. I went to this thrift shop, I bought four things. I'll show you what I got in a bit. But then the lady that was checking me out, she was wearing a, uh, a jacket. And the jacket was Pantagonia. You guys might be thinking, and Ray is so? I've never seen in Pantagonia out in the wild. It's on my list. You know, I told her, hey, <laughs> I like your sweater. Is it yours? She goes, no, I, I was just cold, so I got one. And I told her, are you gonna sell it? She goes, yeah. How much? And then she told me, and then I'm like, sell it to me. She goes, oh, this is kind of weird, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, cool, don't worry about it. But she goes, no, 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 here you go. I'll take it. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. That's okay, now I'm going to freeze. No, but there's so much <laughs> yeah, watches. I know. I can put on another one. Is that I was really looking for a brand like this. Oh, yeah? Pan yeah, Pantagonia. Yeah. So, appreciate it. Yep. Thank you so much. You're welcome, have a good day. Six dollars, six thirty-eight. Hopefully, I sell it. That was the highlight of my day so far. Let's go to thrift shop number two. So uh, I should have came to the thrift shop a long time ago. Each shirt was two fifty, but it was fifty percent off. Like, what? So I got this G unit shirt. I'll show you later. Tommy Bahama. I haven't sold one yet. I'll show you when I get home because we gotta hurry up because the thrift shops are almost closing. So I'm close at five. What deal? Let's go. All right, this thrift store, I've been here before a lot. They close at five. Hopefully, they let me get a few shirts in. Spent 18 at the last one. Four items. I'll show you what I got. Fifth thrift store. Now, this is a thrift shop right here. I bought about 12 things. It came out to about 32 $33. For no reason at all, he gave me 50% off. Look at that. Right? Look at all that. How about 12 items? Five, four, one. Some items even costing $5. One item costing $5. He goes, you know what, man? I'm going to give you 50% off. I'm like, <laughs> I told him, why are you going to give me 50% off? He goes, ah, because I'm closing. I'll be back. Came okay, coming out to set scene 86. Let's go see what we got. I'm not going to go to the last thrift store because I got to get home already. You know, kiddos on the way. Let's go see what I got. I'm home. Look at all these bags of clothes right here. You know what? Instead of showing you each and every one, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take pictures, list them, and I'm gonna tell you which ones sold. Hopefully they sell. Oh, this is how much I spent on the clothes, and I already know what you're gonna say. Don't say it. Ten dollars, all right? Don't even ask me. Let's list them. Let's see how it goes. So, as I'm getting the clothes ready to list, I get an offer. Harley Davidson. I posted it for $35. I brought it down to $29.99. Someone just offered me an offer for $24. You know I'm going to take it. Cost me $6.50. This is how much profit I made. Oh, and just letting you know, I know I said I had 200, but something I learned in business, if you don't need to spend all your money, don't spend all your money. A lot of people hit me up saying, but Reyes, I'm gonna get $3,000 back from income tax, and I wanna invest it all. No, 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 no. That's the worst thing you could do. I would really advise starting small, getting a uh, screen printing starter kit from screenprinting.com. They are not my affiliate but that's the one I used to start. I even made a video that you could check out. I know this from experience. Only spend if you have a reason to spend. And that's it. I don't have any more reason to spend anymore right now. So I'm gonna save it for next time. 
There you go. A Reyes the Entrepreneur free 99 tip right there. But today is a good day. You know why? Look how many products I sold today. Here's a Harley Davidson. Here's a Levi one. I took the best offer of $11 with $5.99 shipping. And sold the Dickies, $5. That's right. Somebody else made me another offer for it and I sold it. So after putting in the shipping, all the fees, this is how much I made profit. Harley Davidson, I sold for $29.99. Shipping, $4.33. Boom. $14.97 profit. Dickies, $10.99. Minus 450, that's how much the item cost. Minus shipping for a stitch, I only made 70 cents profit. I guess Dickies don't sell that much. And Levi's, minus shipping. Boom, 505. Made $20 profit in one day. Man, made $20 profit. Profit. Boom, thank you, Harley Davidson. They sell, homie, they sell. Levi's, one of the newest ones. Self, Dickies, not really. I don't know if I'm gonna pick up this brand again, but we'll see, we'll see. Gonna get these ready to ship. And to be honest, I haven't even started on the new inventory. I just been working on uploading videos, and um, but I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. Let's see how many sales I get. Hey, I'm making pretty good money so far. And you believe I almost thought of quitting? Oh man, I just listed everything. Check it out real quick. I'm gonna be straight up honest with you, unless you have a lot of time, cause it took me about three hours to go find the products. It took me about an hour to get everything ready, take out the tags. Some of the products were uh, stapled with a price tag. And then it took me about an hour and a half to two hours to just take pictures and measurements. And it took me another hour to list them. We'll see how it goes, but I'm excited about one product, the Patagonia, Pata, Patagonia, half zipper, pullover, whatever, whatever it is. I listed it for a hundred bucks. <laughs> hopefully, man, they were selling and hopefully this one sells such well. I got some time and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go buy more inventory. Let's go. Yup. <laughs> I came to the second thrift store. It's not a lot, but it's just out. I found this jacket. I was just scoring. Honestly, I was just pew, 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 pew. Looking for a brand I recognize. Outdoor Research. Cost me $14.50. But the reason I got it is because it's on my list. And if it's on the list, I gotta get it. Let's go to another thrift store. Go back from the Goodwill. I got a good amount of stuff. I spent $33 over there, but look what I got. $250. Some Tommy Bahamas. Check this out. $19.99. Super Bowl embroidery. Yeah. Still tags. $250. And then this one right here. You know, since St. Patrick's Day is coming up, $250. So I got some North Face. Untucky, which was on the list. Under Armour, this one right here, 250. Can't complain. I'm gonna get everything ready so I can take measurements, pictures, and list it. But before we do that, I have a lot of inventory that's not really moving. And that's the main thing I wanna do. I wanna just flip things quickly. I'm gonna go on the computer. I'm just gonna cut a lot of prices. Hopefully, it leads to sell. What do you guys think? It will? I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, so I'm about to start cutting my prices so I can move the old inventory. But someone just Low ball me pretty much. I posted a shirt for $12.99. They offered me six. Um, this brand, you know, was trying out. I'm only gonna make like two dollars profit, but hey, it's moving inventory and I'm making a profit. Can't complain. I'm gonna stay away from this brand, Modern Amusement. You know, I'm I'm still trying to figure out which brands sell and which brands don't. Part of the game. After doing the math on this shirt that just sold, I did make exactly $2 profit. It's something. Let's go ahead and cut some prices.
Good morning, everybody. It's 6.45. Gotta get the day started early today. It's Friday. And guess what? I know it's a good day because I woke up to an offer. Harley Davidson. It's a long sleeve. This long sleeve right here. I posted it for $15.99. They made me an offer of $8. I'll take it, man. I'll take it. $5.99 shipping. And then I check my notifications. Another Harley Davidson long sleeve button up sold. I bought this one for $6.50 and I sold it for $14.99 plus $6.99 shipping. But here's the craziest thing was the one item that was my biggest seller that I wish I could sell Pentagonia. And guess what? I posted it for $99. Someone made me an offer of $69. Let me show you how much profit. Oh, oh, I'm gonna take the deal. I'm gonna take the offer. Don't you worry about that. I'm taking the offer right now. But this is how much I made profit per item. Harley Davidson, $13.99. Minus, that's how much it costs. Minus eBay fee, PayPal's fee. Minus potentially $4 shipping. I make $4.92 profit. Harley Davidson bun shirt. I sold it for $21.98. Cost me $6.50. eBay 220. PayPal 96 cents. Shipping 433. Boom. 7.99 profit. Pentagonia. Here we go. Here we go. 76.99. It cost me 650. Minus 770 for eBay. Minus 261 for PayPal. Minus 388 for shipping. Boom. Let me repeat it one more time. Let me repeat it one more time. Boom. And you guys are not going to believe this. As I was getting these shirts ready to go, I got another sell. The Columbia Vest, $25.98. That's how much I sold it for. $450, $260, Did I tell you today was going to be a good day? Because it's a good day. Over $100 profit already with my business and it's only 10 a.m let's see what i get today let's see let's ship this oh man yeah <laughs> In the dirt, say it again, man, in reverse. Uh, never, never rehearse, jump in it first. Call up the nurse, put the beat in the hearse. Uh, uh, this is absurd, stand to berserk. Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve. Don't got a nerve, man, I never curse. Just casting these spells when I'm spelling these words. That's real, that's real. Three items ready to go. You gotta take them to the post office. And honestly, <laughs> this is where I'm gonna end the video. I'm just glad my eBay business finally started making me money. Um, I'm gonna keep doing this, cause as you could tell, I still have a lot of inventory. But it's working, man, it's working. And you know what? I made a list of hot brands. Like if you come across, buy them. If they're about five to $10, maybe even if you could get them for less, or oh, jump on it without a doubt. But I did put a lot of research and time into that list. So, if you want to get it, there's a link in the description below for my ebook. You know it's free 99 And you know what? I'm just going to put the brands in the description below. Just to help you out. Write them down. Go to a thrift shop. And if you come across any of these brands, money will hopefully for sure. I'm going to keep hustling. I'm going to keep flipping things. You know, and hopefully this helps you on how to get more eBay sales. How to start an eBay business. And if you like this, press like, subscribe so you don't miss my next hustle video. And I'll see you in my next video. Business.